The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to describe a data set you are uploading to Iowa Research Online. Please be aware that the information in this video complements resources we have on our website, available at lib.uiowa.edu slash data. And then from the right-hand navigation menu, you'll see the heading Share and Preserve Data, and you can choose Data Deposit Guide for IRO. There, you'll find written directions with screenshots, as well as extra information that might be useful throughout this process. When you're in IRO describing your data set, you'll notice that the title is filled in for you. That's because it's auto-populating from the previous screen, which means we can jump directly into research topics. Here, we'll enter some specific keywords that are good descriptors of our data set. In this case, I'm going to choose organophosphates, as well as biological degradation. When choosing research topics or the keywords, you'll want to consider what types of keywords an end user might enter into the system to increase the likelihood that your data set will appear when they do their search. Under Related People, you'll notice that your name auto-populates because you're logged into the system. To add co-authors or co-researchers, you can look people up by entering their last name and then their first name. Please be aware that there are many different researchers and faculty members in the system, so you simply want to ensure that you're choosing the correct person when you're adding a co-author. If the person you're looking for is not in the system, please do not add a new person to the system. Simply contact us and we will add them for you. And please be aware that this is especially common with graduate students. When you have entered all the co-authors, you can change the order that they appear on the list by clicking the up and down button here. This will likely align with the order in which you want them to appear as authors in the repository. Under description, this is where you'd enter an abstract for your data set. And please be aware that this will be a different abstract than the abstract for an article where the data is used. Instead, this should be a descriptive abstract specifically for the data set that will help an end user understand what it is they'll be accessing. In the next video, we'll discuss how to specify information about your data.